Hi, Ken. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you scared me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what you got on your hands there? I, I'm just checking the rainfall. What'd you think of that rain last night? It was quite a bit. Oh, my God. How much did we get? We Well, according to this uh, gauge, we had 8,700ths yeah. of an inch of rain with all that lightning and thunder, but that's how much rainfall came down here in my backyard. But I've got actually two gauges. See this that. is the one that's electronic and it lets me sit in my recliner and without getting wet, I can I can read just how much rainfall is coming down. Neat, but what's yeah. the other one there? Okay, that one's called a Kokoros gauge. A Coca what? A Kokoros <laughs> gauge. Is that, a, is is that, that English? Up. Yes, yes, it's, it's actually an acronym. It stands for Community Collaborative Rain, Hail, and Snow Network. Got that? No. Coco Ross. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> but anyone can join that network. All you need is a gauge that's just like this. They, they want all gauges to be uniform, although many rain gauges come in different shapes and sizes. Uh, but this one, I'm just about to take a look and see how much it is reporting. And sure enough, it is reporting right at 87 hundredths of an inch of rain. So when I take a look at this, uh, being a Kokoros reporter, uh, I'm already registered and uh, it doesn't pay anything, but it's, it's a great service to the community. What you do is you go to a specific website, which you can bookmark, go right in, put down how much rainfall you had for the past 24 hours, click send, and you're done. Very neat. So this is how they record rainfall totals all over the all over the country. All over the country and in Canada and there are about 30,000 reporters that do this every day in most days. And they're always taking more applicants, huh? They are. So if you want to be a Kokoros rain gauge reporter, let the National Weather Service know. They'll register you. It's very easy to do and it's good community service.